log functions, it's good to know what the parent function looks like, the basic uh, graph of a log function. And that's what I've drawn here for us. You can see the log graph, it looks like this. It's the inverse of the exponential growth graph, okay? And you can see these are reflections over the line uh, y equals x. But when you look at the log graph, you can see that it's always greater than zero. You can see it never touches the y-axis. It's always to the right here. And so the domain for this a function right here would be that x has to be greater than zero, or if you're using the interval notation, you can say from zero to infinity. Now, you might get into a little bit more you know, challenging or complicated one such as this, but all you would do is you would take this quantity right here, which is called the argument of the log, and you just make that greater than zero and solve for x. So here you can see if we add five to both sides, we get two x is greater than five, divide both sides by two, and you can see that x is greater than five halves. So that would be your domain, or if you want to write it in interval notation, it's five halves to infinity. So that's all you need to do to find the domain for logs. Just go ahead and set that argument greater than zero and solve for x, and that's gonna be your domain. So I hope that helped you understand how to work with uh, the domains of logs better. Subscribe to the channel, check out some more math videos on Mario's Math Tutor and YouTube channel, and I look forward to seeing the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.